Okay, so when we want to use our master material to create a new material instance, we go control space, I'm going to right click, and the top option here is create material instance. So this is going to grab all of the parameters and the programming we've done from that one, copy it over to a new one. Now I'm going to call this one M underscore grass because we're going to make a little grass texture here. Uh, but let's rename that actually to M I underscore grass. And that way we know that that's a material instance uh, versus the actual material. You can see that there's a slight difference in the green color, but it's, it's kind of hard to distinguish. So now when I double click on the grass texture, I see a completely different screen. We don't have, we don't see the node screen. We're able to interact with some of the parameters directly here. So you can see this is going to load up with everything at our normal uh, settings. Uh, that we had built into that other material, but we can change now any of these parameters that we want. So I can click on base color map and let's go in here and search for grass. And I'll load up that one and we'll go here and search for grass and we'll load up. See, it's blue. So we know that's the normal map. It's also got the underscore N so we can uh, load that up into the grass normal map. So our roughness, it didn't come with a roughness map, so we'll just leave that one set at gray, which is just set to like kind of halfway gray. Now we're gonna be able to adjust that up here. So we can go to roughness strength. Grass shouldn't be very shiny, so let's turn that up. And texture size, we'll need to adjust once we see it um, with our character. So let's uh, control S to save. Let's go back to our scene. I'm going to get control space, bring up the content drawer, and let's drag the grass texture. And we can see that now we've got some grass on the floor. Now let's go in and take a look. If I bring up the grass and undock this, close my master material and go back to the desert scene, we're actually able to adjust these materials in real time now using the material instance. So I've got texture size checked. And now I can bring this value down. Let's bring it down to 0.5. And we can see we've got some more detail there. And depending on what kind of shot you're setting up and from what distance you're gonna have your camera, we might uh, adjust that. Let's go to 0.3. And that almost starts to look too big. So let's go the other way. Let's go all the way up to three and we can see that actually starts to look uh, the most realistic in terms of the size of these little pieces of clover in reference to the size of our human character. So, all right, so from this view, we're able to just make these real time adjustments and um, it's a lot easier than having to go in and apply and uh, do all of that. So this is our material instance.